Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing another manicure video and today we're actually gonna be working on the Kiss Jelly Fantasy Glue on Nails. So these are not the press on nails that already bring the little sticky part in the back. These you actually have to glue them. They do include the glue inside. So I decided to buy this glue after watching several YouTube videos. They did recommend not to use the glue that comes in here but to buy this glue which actually holds onto the nail a lot better and lasts longer. So here I did include the tools that I'm going to be using today just to prep my nails and once we have our nails prepped then we will start applying the nails and I will show you how to do that. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to buff my nails, I'm going to work on my cuticles and then I'm going to use the alcohol pad just to remove any excess oil that I may have on my nails and that way the nail will hold on a lot longer. So I'll just show you how I do that now. All right, so we are ready to remove our cuticle and I'm going to be using the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. This is going to help dissolve the cuticles and make it easy just to push them back. I am always really, really scared to cut my cuticles and I don't want to cut myself and make myself bleed so I always use something like this and I used this in my recent pedicure video and it worked amazingly I barely had to cut anything or push anything back so I'm going to show you how I use this on my hands now All right, so now that we applied our cuticle dissolver, I'm going to leave this on for about 15 seconds and then I will work on pushing my cuticle back and cutting my cuticles for whatever little skin was left over or for anything that needs to be cut down. Okay, so 15 seconds are up and now we are ready to push our cuticles back and I'm going to be using this little wooden tool. This is just what I have available for me now and it's just a regular little wooden tool and I'm going to be using this end right here just to push the skin back. All right, so now I have pushed my cuticles back to the best of my abilities. I am not good at doing this whatsoever. This is kind of what they look like after the dissolver. And now I'm just going to cut any little skin that was left behind. And I'm going to be very, very careful as I do this. All right, so we are done cutting any little skin that was left behind in my cuticle after the dissolver. And this is pretty gross, but I don't know if you can see this. There is some skin that I was able to cut. So now that we have already pushed our cuticle back, the next step is going to be just to buff our nails. And we're gonna buff our nails to prepare the nail to stick to the fake nail a lot better. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the buffer that I'm going to use. This is actually my mom, so I'm not sure where she got it, but I'm sure that you can buy one of these anywhere. Sally, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, or Target. I'm sure they sell them absolutely everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and buff my nails now. All 
All right, so we are done buffing our nails. It doesn't really have to be perfect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open my alcohol pad and I'm going to clean all my nails and take any excess oil or dirt that my nails may have because if there's any oils in your nails, the glue will not stick for long and in one or two days your nails are gonna pop off. All right, so our nails are clean and oil-free and ready for application. Okay guys, so these are the two products that I'm going to be using. These are the Kiss Jelly Fantasy Nails and these are very, very on trend right now. So these are kind of transparent nails, but they're beautiful because they are pink, like a very bright pink and they do have some ombre glitter nails and some plain ombre nails and this one as you can see here is a little darker. And this is the long length, I do like to have longer nails and as you can see here, I'll bring them up close. This is what the nails look like. They are so, so pretty. And you can honestly find these absolutely anywhere. You can find them at Ulta, at Target. You can find them at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens. I bought mine at Target. And the same goes with this Kiss glue. This is the maximum speed glue. So I'm going to be applying it to my nail and to the back of the nail and just pressing on and holding them on for I would say maybe about 20 seconds. So this glue I think in Target was about $2. And I think it was actually less than $2 even. It was a dollar and something a dollar 85 i believe and the nails were 7.99 so very very affordable and if you don't like this color they do have several other colors in the jelly fantasy line and these nails are just great this is actually going to be the first time that i apply nails with glue i usually do the impressed nails but i did want to try something different and i actually like this pattern a lot better than the pattern for the impressed nails i do like that it's longer and that it has that jelly effect so let's just see how this looks all right guys so i wanted to show you what is inside the package so as you can see here we do have the glue that comes with the nails we're not going to be using this glue we're going to be using this one i have heard from other reviews on youtube that this one lasts a lot longer and it's just a little better but you know if you don't want to spend the extra money you can just use this glue it will pretty much work the same i've never really used this so i don't know i just went off of what i heard on reviews all right guys, so once we open up the package for the nails, we do have the ones that are on display and then we have the different sizes in here. So of course, everyone's nail beds are different sizes. So you do kind of have to pick and choose what pattern you wanna create. If you want any with glitter, without glitter, if you want all these color or these color, or if you wanna mix. And you also have to find what size fits your nail bed. And we're gonna be doing that as well. And in the package, it also comes with the adhesives in the back. So if you don't want to use the glue, you can actually, just like the impressed nails, paste these little adhesives in the back of the nail and just press them onto your nails. But I don't want to use the adhesives. I want to use the actual glue. And on the other side, we do get a small little nail file. And this is good just to file any nail to shape it the best to your actual nail. So just in case the cuticle is coming out a little bit, you can file it down just to fit your nail properly or... If you don't like the shape of the nail, then you can make it round, you can make it almond shape, or you can just file it down shorter. And that's what this little nail file is good for. And you just get a little wooden stick. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna find the size that fits us best in our nail beds. And I'm also going to select what design I wanna make and what glitter designs I wanna use and what darker shades I wanna use. So you'll see that now. All right guys, so I already separated my nails and I already found my sizes and came up with a design pattern. So this is just going to be my thumb. And as you can see, it's just the solid baby pink. My index finger is also a solid baby pink. And then the middle finger will have some ombre glitter in the bottom. And then the next finger will have the darkest pink. And then my smallest finger will have the regular light baby pink. So we're gonna go ahead now and apply the nails.
All right, guys, so we are done with the first hand, and this is what they look like. So I think they look pretty great. I'm just going to clean off some little areas here where the glue came out, but I'm going to do that at the end. But I think they look pretty good, and they're actually really sturdy. They're actually, like, really, really stuck in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and now work on my second hand. All right guys, so we are done gluing our nails and now all that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of oil on my cuticles. All right guys, so this is the finished product. This is what my nails look like. I think they look absolutely amazing. For only $7.99, this looks pretty, pretty professional. So I really do recommend them. Now I'm just going to see how long they last, but I'm sure they're gonna last a long, long time. The glue is really, really stuck there and I think they look great and they are very, very trendy and in style, this jelly kind of design is really on trend now so I really do recommend them guys so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you subscribe and I will see you next time bye guys